You can see that they're getting in on the lighter end of the snow and we'll continue to see snow that winter weather advisory out through 7 p.m. tonight. An additional one to three inches. We have one to three inches on the ground already. That ends our totals at three to five throughout the area. So more snow in the forecast for us throughout the morning, actually experiencing the heaviest of it right now. Current conditions has us at 23 degrees, but these temperatures are falling. They'll continue to fall throughout the morning. They'll hold steady throughout the afternoon and then really fall off tonight. We have humidity at 90%, so the atmosphere is saturated, which is why we're seeing, of course, that snow. 23 degrees for Indianapolis, 33 for Bloomington, about 20 for Muncie. Now, throughout the day, we will factor in quite a bit of a wind chill. The reason? because we're dealing with winds that will become gusty in the afternoon hours. That wind chill right now has us feeling like it's 14 degrees for Indianapolis, feeling like two for Lafayette and Peru, feeling like 33 for Bloomington, so not as much as the wind chill there. All right, so let's get to it. What's happening on the satellite and radar? You can see this massive system moving through most of the region. You can see the system as we remove the cloud cover, bringing very heavy snow to us over the last three hours actually getting in on a bit of a wintry mix to the south. Not a lot of the system left to move through. I think it moves through by late morning. Uh, as you see, stretching back to St. Louis. So this will stretch over the area and bring some snow. But right now, as we zoom in closer, you can see right now, if you're in Tipton, Crawfordville, Lafayette, Indianapolis, seeing the heavier snow. But look at Bloomington there, getting a break from the system right now. Just some light snow falling, but more snow, heavier snow will move through in the next few hours or so. All right, I want to take a look at TrueCast here of the next 24 hours. You can see quite a bit of blue on this map. That's the snow. That snow sits over us throughout the morning hours, but by noon, it clears out, leaving behind some flurries. But the issue at this point will be the winds. They pick up in gusts at around 25 to 30 miles per hour, which means blowing and drifting. Anything that's cleaned up on the roadways by noon will blow right back onto the roadways when you get those gusty winds. We clear out tonight, but it becomes very cold. The clear skies will allow temperatures to really fall in the overnight hours. We're talking dipping to the single digits with wind chills that are much lower. So plan and prepare for today. It's very cold. We're dealing with snow showers, blowing and drifting an issue. Steady snow throughout the morning hours with temperatures at 22 degrees. So not only do you need to plan and prepare for today, but an active weather pattern means you plan and prepare for Sunday. More accumulating snow, another three to six inches of snow expected with this system. And then Monday and Tuesday, the coldest air in several years. If we had an overnight low of 12 degrees below zero, we're talking the coldest air and over uh, 15 years. So that very cold air will move in for us. Seven day plenty forecast shows temperatures are very cold. We rebound on Saturday, more snow on Sunday, and there goes the single digit highs on Monday and Tuesday.